So here we have the basic components of our experiment. Let's compare the two heat sinks. The first heat sink over here is a heat sink without heat pipes. It is the exact same geometry and has holes over here for the thermocouples. The heat sink with the heat pipes, once again, is the same geometry with holes for the thermocouples and holes for the heat pipes. The heat pipes are inserted through press fitting. To install the LED panel, we have to make sure that the surface is clear. Then we apply the thermal grease. Our original design used the base plate that was mounted to the side. This did not allow for the LED panel to have direct contact with the heatsink. We machined two holes that are both tapped so that our LED panel can be placed directly over the heatsink and screwed in. Now that our LED panel heat sink heat pipe system has been fully set up, we will finish the rest of the installation pro uh, process to begin our experiment. Here we have a bunch of K-type thermocouples that we will be inserting directly into the drilled holes on our heat sink. Now that all the thermocouples have been properly placed into the holes, we will apply some high temperature tape to keep the thermocouples in while we're running the experiment. Now that the thermocouples are secure, we will attach the adapter from our power source to supply the LED panel with power. We'll now place our entire setup into the test chamber to begin our experiment. Now that the installation is complete, we will set up our test chamber to uh, begin our experiment. Um, for this experiment, we'll be testing an ambient temperature of 22 degrees Celsius, as well as a humidity of 40%. As you notice, when it begins running, a fan comes on, and this is unwanted in our experiment as we're testing passive methods only. Um, to prevent this, we have incorporated this enclosure to reduce all of the airflow going over our heatsink. Uh, we will now turn on the output of our power supply to begin supplying a constant 25 uh, watts to our LED panel. As you can see, the LED panel is now on and running. We will begin uh, collecting our data by pushing the scan button on our DAC. Uh, after the allotted time has passed, we will con stop our scan, connect a USB to our computer, and import the data to our Keysight program. 